Hey there, seekers of wisdom and believers alike. Ever wondered how the stories of Joseph, Daniel, and Stephen from the Bible can guide us in our modern lives? Stick around because today we're diving into these timeless tales, unlocking valuable lessons that are as relevant now as they were then. Hey there, fellow seekers of truth and believers in the extraordinary. Welcome back to the Word of Life your go-to channel for unraveling the profound tales embedded in the fabric of faith. Today, we're embarking on a thrilling journey into the heart of resilience, the corridors of wisdom, and the wellspring of divine inspiration. How, you ask? Well, we're diving deep into the captivating stories of Joseph, Daniel, and Stephen, three remarkable individuals whose lives provide a roadmap for navigating the twists and turns of our own daily journey. Buckle up as we traverse the landscape of dreams, grapple with the complexities of temptation, stand firm in unwavering faith, and face the fires of persecution alongside these biblical giants. Each chapter of their lives holds pearls of wisdom, waiting to be discovered and applied to our own unique challenges. So let's set sail into the seas of biblical narratives, anchoring ourselves in the lessons that can fortify us against the storms of life. Joseph's journey unfolds against the backdrop of familial favoritism, jealousy, and a trajectory that leads him into the heart of temptation. As the favored son of Jacob, Joseph becomes the unwitting target of his brother's resentment setting the stage for a series of events that will test his faith and moral fortitude. The climax of Joseph's moral crucible occurs in the household of Potiphar, where he serves as a trusted servant. Potiphar's wife, captivated by Joseph's charm and physical allure, attempts to lure him into an illicit affair. The narrative doesn't shy away from the reality of Joseph facing not only the temptation of physical pleasure, but also the potential consequences of compromising his moral integrity. Genesis chapter 39 verse 7 to 12 NIV paints a vivid picture of this pivotal moment. And after a while, his master's wife took notice of Joseph and said, Come to bed with me. But he refused. One day, he went into the house to attend to his duties and none of the household servants was inside. She caught him by his cloak and said, Come to bed with me. But he left his cloak in her hand and ran out of the house. Joseph's response showcases not only his moral clarity, but also his determination to flee from the grip of temptation. His unwavering commitment to God becomes the anchor that keeps him steady in the storm of lust. It's a powerful lesson that goes beyond mere resistance. It's about recognizing the broader implications of sin against God. As we delve into the intricacies of Joseph's battle against lust, let's reflect on the real-world applications. In the face of modern temptations, from the allure of hedonistic pleasures to the pressures of compromising one's integrity for personal gain, Joseph's story serves as a timeless guide. The lesson echoes, how can we do such wicked things and sin against God? This question becomes our moral compass, urging us to stay true to our faith and resist the siren call of lust in all its forms. Joseph's journey isn't just a historical tale. It's a living narrative that invites us to confront our own battles with temptation reminding us that the path of unwavering commitment to God is the surest route through the tumultuous seas of life. Now, let's delve deeper into the remarkable narrative of Daniel, where we witness his unwavering commitment to God in the face of tempting circumstances. In the book of Daniel, chapter 1, we encounter Daniel and his companions grappling with a pivotal decision regarding their diet. The situation arises when they are presented with the royal food and wine, a sumptuous offering that carries the allure of indulgence and worldly pleasure. Daniel's resolve not to defile himself with this lavish provision demonstrates a profound level of commitment to his faith. In verses 8 to 9, Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 to 9 NIV, we read about Daniel's intentional choice. 
But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine, and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Now God had caused the official to show favor and compassion to Daniel. The temptation here lies in the luxurious and enticing nature of the royal provisions, a feast that could easily lead them away from their dietary commitments and more importantly their devotion to God. Daniel's decision to seek permission not to partake in this indulgence showcases his determination to honor God even in the smallest details of his life. Moreover, as we continue our journey through the book of Daniel, we encounter another instance where Daniel faces the challenge of interpreting dreams, notably the dream of Nebuchadnezzar in chapter 2. In Daniel chapter 2 verse 20 to 21 NIV, Daniel's exclamation reflects not only gratitude but also a profound acknowledgement of God's role in his wisdom and understanding. Praise be to the name of God forever and ever, wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons, he deposes kings and raises up others. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. Daniel attributes his ability to decipher the dreams not to his personal intellect, but recognizes that wisdom and insight are divine gifts from God. In this instance, the temptation may not be a physical indulgence, but rather the challenge lies in the complexity and significance of interpreting a dream that holds immense consequences for the king and the kingdom. As we navigate our own diverse temptations in the modern world, Daniel's steadfast commitment to God, whether in dietary choices or in the exercise of divine wisdom, serves as a powerful inspiration. His story encourages us to seek divine guidance in our decision-making processes and to remain resolute in our allegiance to the Almighty, our ultimate judge. Now, let's delve into the remarkable tale of Stephen, a man whose countenance reflected the radiance of an angel. His journey of wisdom fueled by the Holy Spirit becomes a beacon in the midst of heated debates and adversities, showcasing an extraordinary ability to resist temptation. In Acts chapter 6, verse 10 NKJV, we discover that Stephen's opponents were unable to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. Here, temptation takes the form of intellectual and spiritual challenges thrown at Stephen during debates. The battleground is not only of words but of ideologies, where the allure of compromise seeks to sway Stephen away from his unwavering commitment to divine wisdom. As we explore the angelic radiance described in Acts chapter 6, verse 15, NKJV, envision an ordinary man empowered by an extraordinary force. The transformative power of this communion with the Spirit is evident in the radiance that Stephen exudes, becoming a visual testament to the profound impact of a life surrendered to God's guidance. Stephen's story goes beyond historical narrative. It echoes as a clarion call through the ages. Acts chapter 7 verse 55 to 56 NKJV paints a vivid picture of his connection with the divine. But he being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Here, the temptation lies in the external pressures that attempt to mold beliefs, yet Stephen's gaze into the heavenly realms fueled by the Holy Spirit reveals a depth of connection that transcends earthly challenges. In a world where debates on faith can be intense and external pressures are ever-present, Stephen's story becomes a timeless guide. Acts chapter 7 verse 60 in KJV unveils his final moments, a testament to unwavering faith. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Stephen's triumph over temptation and his unwavering commitment to seeking wisdom from the Holy Spirit inspire us to resist the allure of compromise.
Let's draw strength from his example fortifying our faith and standing firm even in the face of opposition, just as this biblical luminary did centuries ago. Before you go, why not continue this journey with us? Check out another video where we explore more inspiring stories from the Bible. There's a treasure trove of wisdom waiting for you. Until next time, keep the faith burning. And remember, our stories are intricately woven into the grand narrative of God's Word. Catch you in the next video.